This is my upgraded home recording studio. The desk, the interface, the hardware, the microphone, the monitors. This is two years in the making. Welcome to my 2020 home recording studio. Do you remember what my old setup looked like? Take a look. Wow, my studio has come a long way. This setup works perfectly for me for what I do for podcasts, voiceovers, YouTube videos, recording, mixing, and mastering hip hop and spoken word. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the changes I've made to maximize this space for creativity. What up everyone? I am Dwayne Smithers, AKA DS Poet. Do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash that notification bell so you can be notified when I come out with new videos. Also, follow me on Instagram, SoundCloud, and Facebook. Yes, I still use Facebook. Drum roll, please. Let's talk about my desk. You know, it is kind of custom built. I did a video about where I got the desk, how much I paid for it, and how we modified the desk and added shelves to it. I made a few changes to the desk since that video, but overall, it's functional and it works for me. My cable management isn't the best. I will be getting a new desk in the distant future. The chair isn't new. I've had it for about four years. Found it outside. It's comfortable though. My new studio monitors are the Focal Alpha 65s. These are pure analog monitors. You know what kind of sound you are getting. Before these, I had the Rocket 5s. To me, the Alpha 65s are the best monitors for home project studios. My monitors are Resty Known Isolation Pads from Oral X. To the left, is my microphone, the SM7B. To me, this microphone is underrated. Plus, I do not record with the windscreen zone. I like it better like that. The microphone cable is a Megami Gold Gold Plated. Can't go wrong with the gold. By far, this is my favorite pop filter. This is a Hakan P110 Pop Killer. My audio interface is the UAD Apollo Twin X Thunderbolt audio interface. I highly recommend it. My studio headphones are the Sennheiser's HD 280 Pros. I'll talk more about these in a minute. My old headphones are the Audio Technica M50s. The 280 Pros are closed back and really good for tracking, but not mixing. My computer is a 2017 basic model 5K iMac. These are the specs. This is the keyboard that came with my iMac. I don't like it. It is too small with no number pad. So I'ma save it for when I get an iPad or use it for when I stand up to track vocals. The keyboard under that is my main keyboard. I got this from Walmart for about $30. It is called the At Home Keyboard. Has a number pad on it. It's a whole lot bigger and I like it a whole lot better for my setup. The first mouse on the right is my main mouse. This is a Logitech with a scroll wheel. I do not know the actual model number of it. I got it off of Amazon for about $25. Next to that is the magic mouse that came with my iMac. For some reason, we don't get along. 
The newest addition to my studio is the Neve Shepherd channel. I did my research on it for about three months before getting it. Listen, if you can get it, get it. This is an industry standard mic pre and channel strip that you will find in pro studios all across the world. This deserves its own review to explain the four different sections and what they do, and I will do that in the future video. But for now, I just use it to track and record my vocals for my voiceovers, hip hop, spoken word, and Above the Shepherd is the Live Wire 9 Outlet Power Conditioner, a must have piece of equipment for any home studio. A power switch on the front and one outlet, and eight more outlets on the back to hook up all of my equipment. My first external hard drive is a GTEC G Drive 4 terabyte. My second external hard drive is a one terabyte Western Digital Passport. Here we have a music stand that holds my lyrical notebooks so I can look at it as I am recording my hip hop, spoken word, and podcast. If there is anything that you should focus on in your home studio is acoustic treatment. I have two sets of acoustic panels on my wall. These are custom built, some bass traps, the second set of acoustic panels are made out of acoustic foam that I glued to some board. Right here is a sound curtain. And right below that, I have some more sound panels that I got to wrap in velvet. Another acoustic foam board, some more bass traps, some more custom built acoustic panels. More acoustic panels behind my computer on my wall. The floor is pure hardwood. The only thing about this floor I don't like is crooked. It is not leveled out. Since I am renting, there is nothing I can do about it. This area rug was a gift to me from a friend of mine. And voila, it matches my walls. Now this area rug covers half of my studio from wall to wall. Between this rug and my acoustic treatment, I get pretty good recordings. This here is a TV stand that was a gift to me from my sister. As you can see, I don't use it as a TV stand. This is a first generation Native Instruments machine. I got this back in 2011. I don't really use it, I just have it here for show. Here we have some miscellaneous stuff, black tape, duct tape, measuring tape. Right beside that is an NXT cup full of ink pens and a screwdriver. And beside that is a Black Panther action figure. I got this back in 2018. Rest in peace. Beside that are two of my mini Bibles. I am a Christian. I rock with Christ. He rocks with me. Below that is my new book entitled Flossum. Flossum is a combination of two words, awesome and flaws. In this book, I teach people how to become awesome despite their flaws. Click on the link in the description to order your copy. Beside that is my calendar. Despite who you are and what you do, you need a good calendar to keep track of your schedule and your time. Moving right along are two more of my mini notebooks. As you can tell by now, I do a whole lot of writing. Right below that on these two shelves are more miscellaneous stuff. As you can see, cables, batteries, a notebook, my college degree, to which I don't even use, 
yes that is a fake gun right there i use it for props in my videos right here is a makeshift drawer more cables headphones more notebooks and a box full of i don't know what in the back of my studio are two more extra chairs right beside my door is this fluorescent lamp on two wooden crates two mic stands and a tripod an extra fan to keep my studio cool when i'm not running my ac right here is a sc reflection filter for when i record with the condenser microphone these are the doors to my storage closet in my storage closet i keep all the boxes to all the gear that i own sometimes i sell old gear to buy new gear the question that i always get when selling old gear do you have the box to it and i can properly respond with yes i have the box to it that's all folks the end of the tour of my 2020 upgraded home recording studio of course things will evolve in the future with me adding more gear and you can stick around to witness it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and smash that notification bell so you can be notified when i come out with new videos thanks for watching catch it in the next video i gotta go make some more music and videos peace